good dinner. Mm. Um, breakfast. Breakfast. I think. Oh, and guess what else we're going to put on the French toast? What? Who likes blueberries? Me. Me. Who likes strawberries? Me. Who likes raspberries? Me. With a little powdered sugar and syrup. Yes, yes, yes. I think that'll be good. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Amy and I'm Amy Roloff and I'm in my little kitchen. I thought I'd get prepped for our breakfast tomorrow. They're really playing over there, so I'm hoping they're gonna come over here and help me a little bit. And so, um, anyway. Oh, do you guys all wanna come? Uh, they're gonna help me make this, so hopefully we'll have a good breakfast tomorrow. But just to give you a lowdown of what's in this recipe, I know probably many of you have made uh, French toast casserole before. To me, it reminds me of like bread pudding and things like that. So what I'm gonna do here, I've got eight eggs. Each of them are gonna crack four, hopefully. I've got some milk. What is it? One cup of milk with a little bit of heavy cream here. One cup of milk with a little heavy cream here. Then I probably have at least a tablespoon or two of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, and oh, there's Bodie. I did not want this to be overly sweet, so I'm hoping to. You gotta go find your blanket. You gotta go find Coco. Go find your blanket. So I've got cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of sugar in this. Yeah, not well. <laughs> and a little bit of here. Oh, of course Ember wants to taste it. So guys, no, 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 you can't do that. If you need two hands, that's okay. Pour all of this in here. Don't drop it anywhere. Okay. You do the same. I do it with this. Yep, put that, all of that in here. Look, I did it. I know, good job. Good job, Ember. Don't, don't get anything out of the bowl. Okay, while my grandkids are doing that, I'm gonna butter a 13 by nine baking dish over here. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, let me see how you guys are doing here. But a 13 by 9 pan. And I did about a loaf of bread, cut them in big chunks. We will have a good dinner. Mm. Um, breakfast. Breakfast. I think. Oh, and guess what else we're going to put on the French toast? What? Who likes blueberries? Me. Me. Who likes strawberries? Me. Who likes raspberries? Me. With a little powdered sugar and syrup. Yes, yes, yes. I think that'll be good. So I'm gonna pour this other bowl that Ember Ember did. Bye and Jackson, see Papa. We're happy with Jackson and Bodie and you. Mhm. Mm we're yeah. having a sleepover. And what are we having right now? Ice cream, ice cream and sprinkled, All and right. a cherry on top. Send that too. Bodie, was that good? Send that to Jackson, mom and daddy. My mom and dad, okay? Was that good, Bodie? Cherry. Oh, a cherry. Man, I love having them over here. I have about a half a cup of uh, brown sugar, maybe a little bit more. Can you do that flour in here? Yes. Yeah, right in there. All right. Let's give Ember a little try there. Then I'm gonna put in some butter. and Basically, we're gonna make a brown sugar crumble and put it all over the casserole. I didn't wanna make a lot of it because I didn't want to um, make it too sweet. Because we're gonna put uh, syrup on it, some fruit. Here. So these kids got up early. Needless to say, Mimi, Grandma, did not get much sleep, but it's the next day, and so we're gonna finish up making. Here, you want me to finish this up? Yeah. 
And I'm gonna put just a little bit of salt in here just to temper the sugar. Okay, can you can you do this, Ember? Just sprinkle some on. Here. I really want to eat some. I know, sprinkle it all over. Okay, so we're gonna stick this in the oven for about 350 degrees. And then we get to eat. Yeah! All right. Go sports team! Okay, hi the kids. My grandkids are over mm -hmm. there drawing. So I'm gonna finish up this French toast casserole. It looks great. It's still warm. A little bit crunchy on top, but soft inside. So let's dish up some of this lusciousness. And like I said, it'll kind of remind you of bread pudding. Just a little bit there. I'm gonna get another, oh, here's another spoon. I'm gonna get some powdered sugar here. I've got bacon, baking over here in the fry pan. Oh, I think that's very good, Jackson. So here we've got a little bit of the French toast. Look, this is. That is great. I like that. It's a game. Is it? Yeah. Okay, you can tell about you can tell me all about it in a minute here. I sprinkled a little powdered sugar on it. I warmed up my syrup. Oh my goodness, this looks so good. We're gonna put a few blueberries on it. A little bit of raspberries and a few bananas. Oh. Come on, this gotta be good Sunday brunch. Or if you're having family over or a group or anything, served with a little bacon. I think you definitely got a meal going on here. So let me have a taste. I know you hear the kids' voices back there, so hopefully you can hear me, but. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good. And I'm so glad I backed off on the sugar. So you can find this recipe over at Amy Roloff's Ember. You can find this recipe over at Amy Roloff's Little Kitchen. It's French toast casserole. I think it's good anytime, but definitely for brunch, breakfast, or maybe dessert. Who knows? So thanks for you for joining me in my little kitchen. Enjoy. I'm gonna go over here and serve it with my grandkids.